Hi guys, welcome back to the Scramble Academy here in Leeds. My name is Chris Collins and I'm from the Neo Shoot Academy in Castleford. Now today's choke is going to be something a little bit different. We've been going over anaconda chokes a lot and this one is what I call a boa choke, okay? Like a boa constrictor or a feather boa around your neck, okay? Let's bring Liam in and we'll go through this. So again, Liam's on all fours, bit of a theme here. <laughs> and I've gone here as if I'm sprawling. My arm's gone through, so as if I'm going to go for the anaconda choke here. But for what, some reason I can't get my hand through, I'm not really comfortable with it, or maybe he's left his neck exposed. So you see that uh, defence there that Liam's going to, so bringing his arm back there, but he leaves his neck open. So let's take that. I've gone here, he's moved his arm back. I've got my arm all the way through. I'm going to cinch that in by grabbing my bicep again. So exactly the same as an anaconda choke. I'm going to grab my bicep and bring my hand up and over the top. There. All right? Not really applied back because I'm talking. I don't want to choke him out just yet. All right? Got it round there. I grab my bicep and this hand comes down and chops down on the back of his neck like that. So you can see that scissor action happening straight away and actually create scissors. In theory, I could tap him out here, but I'm going to put a roll on it. And the reason I'm putting a roll on it is to utilise his normal body movement. If Liam rolls to his back now, just there, automatically his chin raises away there. Okay? You can't help it, it happens. So really experienced players will probably keep the chin tucked in. But generally when you roll somebody, the chin will raise for a split second. We're going to utilise that. So here, there, he's blocked it, gone for his neck, and I've locked it up there. Okay? I can keep it reasonably tight on him, but I'm going to be still quite nice to him. Quite lightly, and he's alright. Okay, so from here, I'm going to roll towards the arm that's gone in here. So the arm that went round, I'm going to roll towards this elbow. There, lock it up. Roll. Bring him on top of you. So he's on top of my body now, alright? Creating a little pillow for his head. And I've also landed crossways on here deliberately. Because what I want to do now is bridge up. When I bridge up, see his head moving, well, that's going to go into my arm. So lock it up here like that, hold it reasonably tight, bridge it up, and it's choking out. Okay? Let's go through that a little bit faster. I'm going to also do is do that in one motion as well. So I'm not explaining it all the way through. So here, there, he blocks, I go for his neck and wrap it up. Bit of a roll on it. So there, keep it nice and tight, bridge, and chokes out. Did you enjoy that clip? If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button and you'll get some more notifications. See you on the next one.